SCP-096 is terrifying. It's an SCP that stands much taller than the average human. Its mouth gapes open when it's looking for prey. It's downright terrifying, but one of the original sources of terror, especially in video games, is zombies. Now, Paint the Town Red has been getting, I mean, it's been out for years, like October 2015, and it's still being updated. Right now, we've got the living dead scenario. So we can choose any of these. We could have a zombie apocalypse and, oh, I don't know, living dead prison outbreak. Like this is, and we could even do to add even more terror, lights out. We'll try that one in a moment. It's kind of like the walking dead in a way. So I'm in prison and, oh, look, everybody's freaking zombies, man. Even the guards. It's like, what happened here? This is a very impressive prison. It's not an SCP facility, although there's some incredible ones. And look at this. Look at this. This is insane. There's just zombies everywhere. What I need to do is I need to find a weapon. I'm in the kitchen. I'm looking for a meat cleaver. I just found a giant ham. You, sir, you get a ham. You, you get a pan. And I get to run away. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Wow. I took some... Wait, what's that? Some serious damage because I went to a spot where there's very little escape route. It's not what you'd call a good situation, but there's a moment here. Oh, I escaped. But look at that. It, we're very much in like the Walking Dead style zombies. Like, are we in Atlanta, Georgia? Georgia's probably got a prison like this, right? I always thought that if I had a prison, like, or... <laughs> I mean, wait, what? No, like, I always thought that, like, if you had a prison, wouldn't it be cool to put it on the Svalbard Islands? Like north of Russia. Oh man. And like you, you hope not to have to worry about prison and stuff like that. You get kicked. Is this oh shoot. I, I can't get stuck. I'm trying to find the armory. Excuse me, guard. Where's the armory? Look at this. But eventually my my melee weapons will like break. They'll be rendered useless just by the sheer number of Zed heads. Dead heads here that I have to fight. You wanna you want a tomato? Oh my, here's a little tomato right in your face. Tomatoes make zombies' heads blow up, so there's that. You get an orange. You get a tomato. Alright, guys. I need I need some good weapons. Now, why is this dude a nudist zombie? Oh, probably because this is the bathroom. I do not want to get stuck in there with a bunch of zombies. That is literally a nightmare. Well, this is solitary confinement. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. But I'm looking for the armory. Wait, can I? Uh-oh. That was probably a bad idea. Here's the armory, and this is before the guns update, so I get a baseball bat. Fantastic. Oh, jeez. So apparently they added like 20 new animations and a number of new like enemies for this mode. Oh God, this is terrible. I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna have to use my powers to escape this. Well, I've died, so, but here's the cool thing. Let's go to lights out mode and just see how bad gun, let's make this gun show. So at least, it may be zombie apocalypse in a prison, which is already creepy enough at night. Oh God, where's my gun? Where's my gun? I can't see anything, this is terrifying. Oh my God, oh my God. This is, this is not what I wanna be dealing with right now. I just hear creepy noises and every now and then you just see a dude. Sneakily, dude. Some modders need to make some SCP maps for this. I'm just kicking zombies left and right looking for a weapon. A shiv? A toothbrush? <laughs> Can I, a uh, comb? What's that? Oh god. Ow. Ow. Ha <laughs> ha! I just knocked that zombie's head off. Oh my god, they just keep coming. I need... It said gun show, right? What's gun show? You'd think it would be guns everywhere. Oh, look at that. I'll use this. Dude, this is creepy. Hello? Hello? Oh god, don't you... When they come out of the shadows like that, where are you going? You've got a shiv! You don't need that. He's got a toothbrush shiv. Is anyone there? Can you hear me? Hopefully not, because then you'll come to kill me. All right, I got my shockwave ready, and I've also got a little toothbrush shiv. This should prove useful. I hear growling. Oh, there's more. Hey, you should be dead. What? Okay, shivs aren't very good, and there's too many of these. <laughs> Give me my toothbrush back. 
I gotta make sure no one's sneaking up behind me. Punch a hole in that zombie's head. Whoa, is that his arm? I can't tell what's going on. I don't like night mode. This is really, really scary. Especially with the living dead zombie mode. I just love how Paint the Town Red, like, is still updating their game, man. 2015, man. Five years ago. All right, you guys, get out of my way. Thank you. I need, I need some weaponry. I need that. Oh, my God. It's just... Okay, this is bad. This guy's super creepy looking. With strawberry jam all over his face. Ow. Alright, bought ourselves a little bit of time only to have to face, well, you guessed it, more zombies. Ow. Wait, another, another shiv. There's like all this weird glistening. I can't pick it up. Oh look, a night, why did that, why was there a nightstick in that guy's prison cell? You can barely see I'm using a nightstick because it's camouflaged. <laughs> All right, we didn't go up the prison stairs last time. I wonder if there's any like secrets, but do you see how much more eerie and uncomfortable and scary these levels are with these new modifiers? Night mode's been out I think for a little bit of time, but Living Dead just came out a day or two ago. And needless to say, nothing makes a zombie apocalypse scarier than limiting your visibility like where did this guy come from normally you'd be able to see him from far away maybe this is better because i'm acting more cautiously but i don't like it now is anyone in here probably right looking for the meat cleavers this is where i threw the guy the ham maybe they can't see me as easily either that's got to be the case because normally i would have been swarmed by now oh my god this is terrifying this is terrifying oh no no all right, I'm gonna run back in the cells and I almost wish, I almost feel like it'd just be better to be in an SCP mode than this. But be careful what you wish for. What? Where am I? This doesn't look like a regular prison and the door is locked. You need a red key? Where am I? It could be another prison. S-E-C-V-I-R? Oh God, oh my goodness. Where am I? Who are all of you people? Why is that guy taking a nap? Oh my god, he's got a pool stick. Can I break out? I gotta I gotta make a run for it. There's a red key card. Everything is a red key. Do you guys have a red key? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but I need help, you idiots. I have no idea where Oh god. Oh shh shh shh. Sh don't let them know we're here. Oh shoot, it's an ambush. Oh god, they're behind me. Get tased. Oh my god, I got hit with a syringe i think have i been poisoned or was i tased uh what is this is this a, some kind of a mental health institution poor guy doesn't even know i'm gonna let him live yellow keys red keys how do i get out of here oh snap uh oh do any of you guys have weapons you don't need a wrench i need that wrench ha knock that guy straight out okay what is this is this another ventilation shaft? This is creepy, man. But I think it's safe to say it's not a regular prison facility. This is some hardcore parkour stuff going on here. I've been in this pipe. This reminds me of the little pipe from Aliens. But I have not, oh, we're coming across an office. There's a lot more offices here, but I don't have a yellow key card. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I don't have a yellow key card. I, I, I need one in order to proceed. There's all these red keys. Wait a minute. I was here, but I went through there. That's where I got the yellow key. Now I need to find the red one. Okay. There's a yellow key double doors right there. That's not being guarded by the janitor. Oh, that's the escape route. Oh, that was the escape route. Okay. But circling back, what if you went to a biker bar? But all of the bikers were zombies. Oh, it's the gun show. Okay, so on the prison, I must not have... Whoa! How did I land on the moose? Okay, guys. Everybody just... just Calm down, stop thinking about eating brains for like two seconds, and let me think about this. I'm feeling significantly better now that I've got the gun show modifier on. This is awesome. Double barrel shotgun versus zombies, who wins? Hint, I do. <laughs> I've got the shotgun. What's up? This is so funny. Okay, where was my arsenal? Right here. I wanna try the pump now. 
It's a little bit faster firing than the other ones, but my goodness. Yeah, so I guess in this situation, I'm like, what? I'm the Muhammad Ali of zombie killing? He's alive right now. Everybody stop talking now. Attention. I told you. I told you today. I'm still the greatest of all time. Or maybe I was sent in by the government to... Ah! To take out all the zombies. This is amazing, because gun mode means you have infinite ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, although it's not very accurate at distance. Like, look, look how long it takes. <laughs> that guy's still alive. Okay. Whoa, there's a skeleton. Hold on, sir, back up. You, stay back up. Skeleton? Oh my god, there's multiple skeletons. What? I popped you in the head. How are you still alive? What? The skeleton is still alive? It's funny. Take his leg out. <laughs> he literally broke. Now, does he get back up? Strawberry jam everywhere. Oh, God. Aim for the center of mass. Although with zombies, I guess you do have to aim for the head, right? But look, you aim for the head, they don't always die. What is going on? All right, what if I hit you in the leg again? Does he break and can he get up? Sir, stand back. This is a science experiment. So that's really funny. With a skeleton, you can't hit him in the head. You have to hit him in the leg. <laughs> and then they die because he can't move. That's hilarious. What about you? The same? This is amazing. Wait, was someone in here? Anybody in here? Knock, knock! Right. <laughs> oh, gun mode's gotta be one of my favorites. Oh, a machete. Who needs that? Please open the safe. All right, who's left alive? Who needs extermination? Ah! Hold this, please. I'm gonna go back and get see what other weapons I have available. I've got like, oh, the six shooter. I love the sound effect of this one. I'm trying to shoot through the. I was trying to shoot through the railings. Oh, got him in the back. Yeah, led with a headshot. Yeah, double headshot. It's kind of funny when the bullets fire this slow. You can lead your targets a little bit, or you kind of have to. Yes. Who's that over there? That looked like a different one. Okay. Uh, what is that? No, nope, just something. Okay. Now, how does the Kalashnikov stand compared to the M16? Are you all right? What if I shoot your arm? Oh. Okay. So what else is going on at the biker bar? What do you guys got here? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? So you got some rooms here. You don't need these rum bottles. All right, who's left alive? The beer taps are flowing. This guy's alive. Not for much longer. Now, what's in here? Two enemies are remaining. Are they like the guards? There's no guards at a biker bar. What am I thinking? Spend too much time in prison, I guess. Oh, look. Bathroom candy. No, it's not. Sir? Leg shot. Whoa. He's not dead. What about that one? <laughs> hey. This is supposed to work. There we go. Okay. Now you're gone. Now where's the exit? There it is. So let's see what other scenario we have. Biker bar, a disco, a zombie disco party. You knew it was going to happen at some point. All right, I need friends. Uh, this is going to be bad. I feel very sorry for my friends who are supposed to help me in the zombie apocalypse because... Oh my God, everybody has machetes? This was a bad idea. This was a really bad idea. <laughs> At least they swing and hit each other, though. Okay, I need to find... There's no armor in a disco, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, that guy was moving fast. That's not how fast zombies are supposed to move, sir. Oh, my God, this is a terrible idea. Oh, no, he was a friend! Oh, but now they have faces, at least. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were my friend. You look like a zombie to me. I have friendly zombies. Maybe, like, the zombie virus has mutated in a way. There we go. Where, like... Here, you want a cup of... Oh, God! Ah! There's a skeleton! And I got hit really hard. Yeah, I guess I can pick up... Whoa! Okay, this guy is, like, super creepy because he moves. He's not a regular zombie. Ah! Here, hold my shuriken. Hold my machete. Okay, you're really good at holding things, sir. How about hold another machete? You want to hold my, uh, bottle of Heineken's? My other bottle of Heineken! Goodness gracious, will you die? I missed. I'm panicking. I feel like I've got to smite this man. Oh, my God, skeletons. He's back! I, he's literally just invincible, maybe? Alright, let's have a let's have a dance off then, maybe. Maybe that's maybe that's what we need. Look at look at how fast he comes. Takes a machete to the face. Keeps walking. This is like he started the zombie apocalypse, I think. He's patient zero. He's a supremely evolved zombie. Everybody drops a machete, so it's like free. It's free real estate. And I can just get really good at throwing them. Is there more? Is there no one else? Of course there is. There's always someone else. All right. 
Now, what if I throw a machete at your knee? <laughs> Took his leg out. Okay, it says there's three alive. I only see one walking around. Do you need a chair to sit down? Been walking a while, haven't you? All right, you're shattered. Now, is this like the entrance? This is the entrance to the club. Club beat down. And there's only one left, and you ain't even looking where you're supposed to go. Now, where's the escape? Yes! All right, well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Paint the Town Red. Uh, the Living Dead update is pretty sweet, because Living Dead can be made all the creepier and eerier. Look, there's no lights in the disco party, just the undead! But if you guys want to see more Paint the Town Red, let me know. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try to survive here, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>